Hey guys, look at me faces back to yet another Rolling Lines video. Today we're going to be checking out another map. It's quite a small one, so we should have some crashes and some fun. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let's continue. Okay, so we start off today in this little room, this little tiny room with just one little table. Yes, one little table. On this little table, we've got one Union Pacific, actually two Union Pacific locomotives. Whoa, what are they pulling? They're pulling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're pulling eight Union Pacific cars. Um, yeah, these weren't the cars that actually came with it. I mean, the back ones are, but the front ones uh, were, were white, so uh, I didn't have the texture for them. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to somehow like reverse this in to um, both of these places. I guess we're going to have to detach a few in one of them, and then detach a few in the other one. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that out, and uh, then we'll get a steam locomotive, not this one. We'll go ahead and get a new one, and uh, we'll put it going around the track the other way. And I guess we can take turns. That'd actually be pretty cool. Anyway, um, that's going to go that way, then the first lot are going to go left, the second lot are going to go right. Okay, makes sense to me. Are you ready to get inside and go backwards? Almost. We're almost ready, boys. We're almost ready. If we did it now, um, I think it would glitch out a little bit and go a little bit weird. Anyway, jump in this one, go backwards. We don't want to be going backwards too fast, so let's go with two. And, um, yeah, we need to split them off whenever we can. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that goes in this way. Um, then the first lot are going to go in the left bit, so they're going to go in this piece right here. And the second lot are going to go on the right piece, which is this piece right here. Uh, and that seems like a good idea to me. Here they come. I don't actually know how this is going to go, so, um, yeah, right, uh, I don't know how far, like, t how close to the back we need to, like, stop these things, um, but I'm going to have to be pretty quick at getting to the locomotives at the front, um, because otherwise they're going to go straight off the back and fly around and, uh, kill people, and that's not good, we can't be killing people, uh, by accident, yeah, that's not a good thing, alright, we're getting close, boys, we're getting close, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to stop, like so, there we go, Okay, we're going to have to jump out, we're going to have to decouple a few of these things. So we're going to have to, like, do, I guess, this. And there we go, okay, cool, they're decoupled. Those ones are really close to the back, that's pretty cool. And uh, we're going to have to flick this switch uh, so that we go into this one next. Alright, cool, we're going to have to go forwards and then go backwards again. And then, oh, ah! oh, have I grabbed them again? No, okay, I was very close though. We were very close to just grabbing them. And uh, starting the whole situation again. All right, here we go. Go backwards at two. We should be able to fit the whole train in now. Uh, maybe. So we'll go ahead and jump out. Let's have a little look. Yeah, we should be able to fit, like, I don't know, one, two, probably four, plus two locomotives in this little bit right here. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be completely fine and off the track and ready to get a steam locomotive going around. Actually, it's got loads of room. Maybe we could have just had the whole train going this side. Because this, yeah, it would have fit, maybe. It might not have fit, but there you go. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and stop it right here and um, get ready to go get the steam locomotive. So let's go ahead and go into liveries and we'll have a little look around. This is the one that is brand new and I used it in the last video, but we could use it again if we wanted to. Uh, it does actually look really cool. So let's go ahead and get the big boy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right, cool. We'll get the, the big boy's tender as well, which has some... Um, Wood in the back, which is actually pretty cool, and we'll go ahead and get it some sort of uh, Some sort of things to pull some sort of things to pull. Let's use these these are actually like one of my favorite uh, Skins or liveries. Uh, they look really good. They do look really good. We'll have it so that they all fit and um, Yeah, we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and go full speed or at least a little bit of speed There we go, and we are gonna have to flick the switch over there so that it doesn't go off the track because that would be bad That, that would be bad. Oh, it's doing it anyway. It's doing it anyway. Go backwards. Go backwards. We need to flick this switch. All right. There we go. All right. We can go forwards now. We can go forwards. Hopefully. Yep. All right. Good. Okay, looking pretty good to me, so I guess we could try a sneaky little thing. We're going to go ahead and take a locomotive out of here. We're going to push this one backwards and uh, attach it to those, so we might as well do it in the cab. There we go. We're going backwards very slowly. That's fantastic. We're coupled. Now go forwards as fast as you can. As fast as you can, little train. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Turn left. No, 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 no. Okay, reverse, reverse, reverse. We need to flick the switch. 
Wherever the switch may be, there it is. Okay, flick the switch. Get back inside. We need to now go forwards again. All right, cool. And we're gonna get into this siding. Yeah, all right, cool. Here we go. We flick the switch and we've came off the track. What? How is that happen? What's happening here? Oh, that that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, hold on. Hold on. Things are coming off the track way too easily right now. There we go. Okay, we'll get that back on there. We'll put this one on there too. There we go. Make that go forwards. And this one. There we go. Okay. We've got actually plenty of time. So we can go ahead and get back inside. And we can go forwards. There we go. Okay, cool. So I don't actually know what happened there. I think it derailed because one of my cars actually went on a different track. Um, and I guess that is my bad for reversing. But there you go. I need to know whether I'm in or not. Um, I, I guess. I don't know. No idea. Let's go ahead and assume that I am. Yep, we are. Alright, that's pretty cool. We could have actually done it with two locomotives. Uh, we would have fit. We would have definitely fit. Damn! Alrighty, let's get more trains going. Uh, because this will be interesting, right? So, we do only have one siding. Oh, well, two sidings. We've got this one right here, and we got this one right here. Now, when this locomotive goes to the right, if we do make it go to the right, I don't know whether it'll fit. Actually, let's see if it'll fit uh, before we do anything else. We'll make it go reverse. There we go. We'll flick the switch, and we should be able to get back in and fit into the siding. All right, let's go see if it can fit. This this locomotive itself is actually way bigger than the cars, so yeah, we're, we're gonna have to figure this one out. Hopefully, it goes on the right because I haven't flicked the switch before again, so we should be good. And uh, I don't know where the front of this is. I don't know when to actually like stop it. All right, okay, hold on, a few more seconds. All right, start slowing down now. A little bit further forwards. Put it in one. There we go. Okay, cool. We are actually off the track already, so that should be fine. And what we could do is actually get another locomotive to take these cars around the track again. A different way. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and stop this. And we'll get ourselves another locomotive. Now, there is a locomotive that I have just downloaded, and it's the Pacific National. Someone said that this was Australian, I guess. I think. Uh, I think they said it was Australian. Um, and we're going to get this thing to go and pick up them cars. So let's go make it go forwards all the way around the track. As oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, whoa! Okay, I wasn't expecting to be able to do that, but we've done it. Alright, cool. We want those cars to go back where they were. Um, we are going way too fast. Slow down. Slow down! Whoa, it's actually derailed again. What? I'm so confused. It actually, like, decoupled from the cars without me doing anything. That's weird. That is strange. Alright, cool. we got to get back inside and go backwards. Uh, because at the minute, uh, it's still going to go that way. And there's cars there, and that's not good. Alright, okay, cool. We can flick this switch probably while it's on it. That seems fine. And uh, there we go. It's, it's clipped, so we should be able to go around. Awesome. I, just, I did just hear the steam engine sort of like start chugging again. That was a bit strange. That was very strange. Um, but it hasn't actually moved, I don't think, so that should be fine. We're gonna go ahead and decouple them for this train to actually pull them away. And, uh, yeah, alright, cool, good. We are... Yeah, okay, we will end up pulling them from our back end, so that's good, that's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, I do actually really like this map. Even though it's so small, they've built it really well. Also, I thought I could hear another train there. Is there another map going around? Is there some trains going around in here? No? I don't know. Is there... Is any other room actually built up? No. Okay. Cool, sometimes you actually notice in these maps uh, where they've only done one table that they've actually done more than one table. Anyway, let's go ahead and slow her down. Uh, the problem that we've got now, okay, this might be, well, this isn't really a big problem, um, but it might attach to the steam locomotive again if I do this wrong or do it too fast, um, and that wouldn't be too good. So let's go ahead and get relatively close, and then we'll slow down a little bit more, um, like so. Okay, slow down. And as soon as we touch it, which we should be able to hear it, there we go, we'll go forwards. Alrighty, cool. We're gonna get out of here if we're pulling a steam locomotive. Whatever. I don't think I am, boys. No, we've got away without pulling the steam locomotive away. Uh, I guess what I wanna do as well is reverse this one up real quick. And we're gonna go ahead and pick up all of the rest of the, uh, the cars uh, that the Union Pacific one dropped off last time. And uh, hopefully we can fit in the siding. If we can't fit in the siding, we can obviously get on the same track. Uh, because this one is going uh, the same direction, uh, which is pretty good. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and slow down. That's not slowing down. There we go. Are we attached? We've attached. We're very close. To oh, uh-oh. 
Uh oh, get inside, get inside. Go forwards. Slowing down always makes you want to press the backwards button. But sometimes you are going backwards when you want to slow down. Um, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. All right, that locomotive is coming around. Let's go ahead and attach that one again. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can go on the siding here. Um, flick the switch. There we go. And we'll go that way. All right, cool. Hopefully it's not crashed into our butt yet. That would be good. There we go. And as soon as we get up to speed, we can go ahead and jump out. And, oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. All right, cool. I don't think all of these will fit in the siding. No way all of these going to fit in the siding. It'll be very close, but no. no not going to happen. All right, cool. Make that one go that way. And, uh, yeah, you're still going around. That's actually pretty cool. Um, the next thing that I want to do is get this locomotive into the siding. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, cool. Let's go. Backwards, please. Yeah, off we go in our steam locomotive. Have I flicked the switch again? I don't think I have. I don't think I flicked it. Quick, bam. There we go. Okay, good. Get back inside and slow her down. Alrighty, awesome. We're slowly getting back in here. That's pretty cool. And actually, next time the locomotives go around, or the two trains go around, we can actually, like, try and ram them, I guess. We, we could try that. We're not even off the track fully yet. I underestimate how big this thing is all the time. All right, here we go. Bam. All right, cool. That looks great. They both look really good, actually, going around this. I do like this map. The map is actually really cool, too. <gasps> no! No! Ah! No, 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 uh, we've still got all the cars connected. We got all the locomotives connected as well. All right, cool. Anyway, I think that's enough for this map. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I like actually like chugging around and trying to move cars while the other trains are still going around. I'm probably going to try and do that on another map as well. Um, it's actually really fun. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. But hold on a second. I have an idea. I have an idea. We're going to wait here. We're going to wait here. First locomotive's going over. Okay, bam! Look at this mess. Look what I've just done. There we go, we've got a little bit of a mess going on. And this locomotive's gonna come along and uh, do whatever it wants to do. Bam! Yep, there we go, we, we've messed it up. We've messed up everything, and uh, that's an issue. There we go. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.